Today what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how you can make this gate chat in Google Sheets. So make sure to watch this video till the end and like this video and share your comments. If you would have seen a lot of task trackers and dashboards, you'd see that they feature something called as a gate chart. Now these gate charts are very important because you can easily check any particular key performance indicator with the help of the needle of this particular gauge. I have already made a video for Excel which shows how you can hack a pie chart to make this particular gate chart. Now in this particular example, I have a key performance indicator ranging from 1 to 10 and then I have created certain zones for this particular KPI like if it is 8 to 10 it is green if it is 6 to 8 then it is yellow and 1 to 6 is red that means it's underperforming and I have taken a sample data for March April and May these of course would be coming from certain formulas or pivot tables in your task tracker but here just for the sake of example I have taken these numbers so how will you insert a gate chart you will select this particular data like this go to insert chart now by default it will select a particular chart like here it's pie chart you'll have to go to chart type and then scroll down and towards the end you'll see something called as a gate chart click on it and here you can see that you have the three gauges showing up for the three months now we need to customize these gauges because by default the gauge is ranging from 0 to 100 and I don't have these zones appearing over here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the chart editor, go to customize and then in the gauges I'm going to first of all select the range. Like here it's 0 to 100, I'll change it from 1 to 10. As soon as I change the gauge range you can see that the needles moved and these gauges now look more relevant. Now let me just insert the colors over here. For me the red color is from 1 to 6. So what I'm going to do here is that for the first range color 1 to 6 it's red color. So you can see that the red color has appeared over here. Then the yellow color is from 6 to 8. 6 to 8 and then the green color is 8 to 10. Now you can see that as soon as I've inserted these ranges, the colors also got added and these are much more relevant to me now. I can copy this particular graph from here and just take it to another sheet or a dashboard and paste it over here. Of course it will always be referencing to the data that I had put over here. I can customize the gauge chart the way I want it so that my dashboard actually looks beautiful. And of course you can look at my video that I've created for the dashboards and see how I put the gauge charts and some of the charts over there to make a final dashboard for you. Do you have any questions on the gauge chart? Make sure to write them in the comment section below. And until next time, bye bye. And yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time a new video is uploaded.